Welcome to the Texas Go Radio Show. Shout out to subreddit Owen Benjamin for this. I have no idea, never heard of him, but evidently Clint Russell. I, I, the only thing that I really miss about the old Twitter is that if you saw a blue check mark, you knew that there was some kind of substance behind uh, the situation. And now somebody with 50 followers can buy themselves a blue check mark or 300 or I think the, yeah. So it doesn't really matter. The blue check mark honestly doesn't matter except for they're potentially a real person and they've got an extra, what, eight bucks a month that they want to throw at Twitter. But uh, Clint Russell, he's evidently going to have Owen Benjamin, the dangerous predatorial cult leader who says very problematic things about children, not to mention potentially extremely racist and whatnot. Billy Butcher says, I don't know why you would give that imbecile a platform. He's a predatorial cult leader that mo- that says molested kids have consent to be sexually abused. Unless you agree with him, not to mention how he is b- for big government and mocks libertarians. Okay. And so, it's important to note exactly the points that Billy Butcher says. He's a predatorial cult leader. He says that children can give consent. And he's for big government and mocks libertarians. That's four. Okay. That's four points that Billy Butcher is bringing up against Owen Benjamin and why Clint Russell, whoever that is, should not have him on his show. And just like everybody else, just like everybody else, especially over the last few months that stick up for Owen Benjamin, they ignore the extremely problematic things such as cult leader. Uh, Now, Billy Butcher didn't bring up the investment scam of 2020, but they tend to ignore that. The problematic statements about children. And that's exactly what this person, Clint Russell, just did. Platform. Unless you agree with them. Mocks libertarians. It's like you're trying to get blocked. Who cares? Just live your life. Kind of. Because I remember parts of that video. Kind of the same of the points that uh, Owen Benjamin said. This is just a clusterfuck of a mess right now. Because Owen says problematic things about children. But then he said... The reason why he, he doesn't like libertarians is because without government, then everybody like P- CS is going to be ev- or CP is going to be everywhere or whatever kind of point he was trying to make. And so way to go, Clint, just ignoring all the things that that uh, Billy Butcher made is why you shouldn't have him on your show. Oh, and you're giving time to a guy who thinks kids consent to relations with adults now threatening to block me for pointing that out. With a video of him saying that, that's peak <laughs> big bear energy. So I'm safe to assume you agree with him about kids consenting. Now, I don't know anything about Clint Russell to say that he definitely agrees. This just, I think, one of the things about Owen is that he brings out, oh, I don't know, man. I used to judge people for the, for them having him on their platform. And I still do. Uh, Chrissy Mayer, after she, after how that went down, and she's been, he's been on her podcast. She just reminds me of uh, the um, Jerry Springer type. Not really any moral or ethical reasons for anything she does. It's just money. And so, Clint Russell, probably the same thing. Like I said, I don't know anything about him. I wish I would have known more about Curtis Stone before I saw Curtis Stone on Owen Benjamin's. And so uh, he, he had one of the most brilliant displays of of uh, presenting Owen Benjamin with reality I've ever seen. But we're going to go ahead and pause this. All right, and so this is the actual clip that the guy, uh, Billy Butcher, Shout out to Billy Butcher. Um, presented to, what was his name? Clint something. That Clint either didn't watch, didn't care to watch, or um, didn't take it seriously. Very, very easy to understand. When people say, oh, just let local communities figure it out. Not with the non-aggression principle. You can't.
can't stop it at any level. You cannot stop a seven-year-old from consenting to sex with a 70-year-old. Okay, just just the fact of saying it the way he said it. Now, Owen Benjamin being Owen Benjamin, he is, I, won't, I wouldn't even call him the master of manipulation because it's so blatantly obvious and stupid what he says and does. He said at one point, F you and the Lord. Uh, one in- <laughs> What did he say? Yeah, he said, F you and the Lord. Because people didn't give him enough money. And then he turns around a couple days later and says, oh, yeah, people clipped that. No, that was just a Christian bit. No, it was not. Not even a little bit. This dude has also said uh, there's no difference between a 14-year-old and a 34-year-old. And in context with that, now, he, he was kind of making a pretty decent point. He said, what's the age of consent? What is it, 18? Okay, there's nothing magical that happens between a 17-year-old uh, whenever a 17-year-old turns into an 18-year-old. And I was like, okay, I mean, that's logical, right? But then he follows it up with, there's no difference between a 14-year-old and a 34-year-old, which shows you the escalation that he's willing to go to to be able to get away with whatever he wants to get away with. So let's go ahead and continue this. Let's go ahead and just back it up, and I'll let this play. I won't interrupt it, so it's in context, no interruptions. Very, very easy to understand. When people say, oh, just let local communities figure it out, not with the non-aggression principle. You can't stop it at any level. You cannot stop a 7-year-old from consenting to sex with a 70-year-old. Okay? I promise you can't. Like, all those... Those like quick answers that you're going to regurgitate, they don't make any sense. Well, a minor, that's rape. It causes damage. So what age? And why? And it, how is it rape if it's consent? Love is love, according to NAMBLA and libertarian non-aggression principle. Where when you have two individuals that are consenting to do something that does not harm a third party, you cannot get in between them. That's literally what they say. So does that mean at 13 you get this magical power? At 20? When your brain's done developing at 25? Puberty? Seven? And why? Like, give the philosophy as to why. Right? Like, it's like, what is damage? You do, and then so this guy says, but this is kind of like saying all libertarians secretly want to murder people because murder would be legal. No, it's not saying that. It's not saying that at all. And then he says, the non-aggression principle does apply to child rape because it hurts children and destroys their lives. I could say drinking Mountain Dew hurts people. And, and, they ju- and he just added the word rape when I'm talking about consent. And yeah, like right now, I could take my eight-year-old and he would consent joyfully to go to the toy store. Okay? That's what I'm talking about. These Namble guys, they argue that um, child love is the most pure uh, love. That's their argument. Like libertarians, right on board. It's like uh, that innocence, that naivety, that trusting, that all that stuff. You could absolutely be a monster and call it consent and say, who are you to judge what I'm doing? Non-aggression principle, you can't aggress upon me. You know, but dude, the non-aggression principle is pure fucking Satanism. All right. And I'm not saying, you know, you can't be friends with people or whatever. I'm not saying they're all pedophiles, but like the fact that they can't answer that question and it doesn't change their mind at all about their how they want to run society is extremely suspicious. Um, OK, the non-aggression principle does apply to child rape because it hurts, blah, blah, blah. I know there are some bad people who want no laws to do bad things. I wrote, you said child rape. What about consent with a seven-year-old? How would you stop that with non-aggression principle? All right, and this is when they puff up. Oh, I mean, every, everyone, no, oh, no, no, no. You, you're talking about governing a society based on this philosophy. I'm not saying pedophilia is good. I, I'm the one saying that it's so bad that you have to have people with guns to kill those people. Even if the kid says, I love him. I, I, I want this. I need money. My mother is hungry. Right. You have to have someone to say, you can't consent to that. We're going to kill that guy. And then someone goes, yeah, because they're a child. So at what age? 
That's why I was yelling that at Brian from High Impact Flicks. What age, Brian? In what age? And people are like, oh, you, sir, you've had a melt. You're unhinged. No, you can't answer the question of why do you want a society where you can't prosecute pedophilia? And I am, I was raised in darkness. Like I'm from a town that was run by pedophiles. I can see the sneaky tactics a mile away. You won't answer the question, then you pretend that I'm crazy. Like I can see it, I can see right through it. And most people back down at that point because they have this social response of like, I don't want to look stupid. And um, where is it? High impact. Let's see if I can find that. Are you guys enjoying this? Is this is this a good stream? Is anyone even fucking here? You're unhinged to pedophilia. I am. No, it's like I'm unhinged to people that are doing shit like this. Because the response is not logical. The response of like, you know, you're crazy. You're a, you're a failure. You're... Dude, I have people with three, 2,000 followers on Twitter calling me a failure when I have 250,000 followers on the same platform. No one's heard of you. You're a failure. Uh, meanwhile, I live a libertarian lifestyle, like, like self-sufficient, no dependency on government, no debt, all that stuff. And I bring up a point that they absolutely cannot argue. At that point, they go ad hominem. They try and destroy the man. Right. They try and start slandering, puffing up, making subjective claims that they that make no sense. Just like, uh, you know, uh, Jim Goat. Oh, you you have a history of 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 being unhinged. Any any examples? Oh, it's well documented. <laughs> Said a guy who went to prison for beating a woman almost to death. All right. Like it gets so stupid that I don't know what happens to these people. Like, do they get early dementia? Are they incapable of functioning? You know, how long has this been going on? Dave Smith is absolute proof libertarianism is Jewy. Well, actual Judaism has rules. It's not libertarian. That's why I don't think about Jews much these days, because it's like, it's just good and bad. To me, it's like true and false. You know, when someone says something's Jewy, I'm like, Orthodox Jews would never be libertarian. They have like 615 fucking rules. You know, they aggress all the time. Like, they're all about force. Like, they're not, you know, if you could say, oh, it's proof it's uh, subversion. Sure, but subversion is a lot bigger than the Jew. I just finished watching the Boomer Week videos Monday to Thursday. Mr. Benjamin, as a millennial and a naturalized citizen, I was amazed at the insight and discernment. I saw their generation the same way. Good for you. Everyone's getting it. Okay. So I wrote, your philosophy, or no, uh, your philosophy permits pedophilia. That's why you have to insert the word rape. You, you see how sneaky they are? It's like, no, rape of a child always causes damage. I never said rape. You know, there's seven-year-olds that think they love a 70-year-old. Like that's, I know it's dark to talk about, but that's what NAMBLA promotes. I wrote, in actual non-evil reality, children cannot consent to sex. They aren't sexual beings. But there is a moral claim. Your philosophy has no right and wrong, just commerce and contract. It's fundamentally evil, and your tricks don't work on me. And then he said, it gets kind of funny. I know that I can, I can have it dark. I can think things are funny that are not funny. I'm, I apologize. He said, but raping a seven-year-old does hurt the child physically and mentally. See how he inserted rape again. I know because I was abused. Here we go. Now he's playing on the heartstrings. I know because I was abused. And the monsters who did that belong at the bottom of the ocean. So now he's appealing to bloodlust. He's appealing to victim consciousness. This is total bullshit. Child abuse happens with or without government. And because government is inherently corrupt, it actually happens more. Ooh, happens more. Corruption means that there's something bad happening hidden. Okay? Corruption means they're not as good at stopping pedophilia as they could be. The argument that without laws against pedophilia, there would be more pedophilia is fucking retarded. That's like saying people speed. So without uh, speed limits, uh, people would drive slower. Guys, if there wasn't speed limits, I would drive 100 miles an hour everywhere I went. Like, that is absolutely fucking retarded. Just, just the notion 
that I'm going to be pulled over and have to spend $150 keeps my speed close to the speed limit. Obviously, everyone knows this except for people that are lying. Okay. So then I say, you don't seem to be honest in this discussion. Want me to try and explain it again? You keep saying rape. According to libertarianism, consent is consent, non-aggression principle. With your current philosophy, rape is only if someone says no and they do not contract. In the non-aggression principle, how can there be an arbitrary age for when someone can consent? And then you go on to say you were raped as a kid, so you know, well... If that's actually true, the fact you don't understand what I'm saying or take it seriously is very alarming. And why people tend to not trust you guys. I would say the majority of raped, molested, abused, sexually abused kids consented on some level. Like they were trusting. It's not like they were beaten and physically raped. It's like, and that's what really messes up people's heads because they think it's their fault. You know, they... They were trusting. They went along with it. They agreed to it, right? That's if he was actually molested as a kid. I mean, don't get me wrong. Maybe it's possible, but I am seriously doubting it because everyone, not everyone, most people that were taken advantage of by kids as kids consented, even though they had no ability to consent, but they thought they were making someone happy. They thought that they, they thought that if, uh, they didn't go along with it. They were bad or wrong. Like, that's literally what pedophilia is. Even though they had no ability to consent, but they thought, but I am seriously doubting it because everyone, not everyone, most people that were taken advantage of by kids, as kids, consented. Even though they had no ability to consent, but. Okay, so that was a long stretch of a video but the point of all of that was he at the end of this little clip right here he clearly says that he thinks children can give consent and then he justifies it by saying whatever it is that he said and that's the point that myself and everyone else is trying to make and so uh, when you take that into consideration as well as all of the other problematic things that he said about children. It's not a good situation. This is the Texas Go Radio Show. As always, till next time.